I name it like this because the pattern of these granny squares is called Starburst granny squares and yeah it's pretty easy to do it takes a little bit of time to make all these squares but after you finish doing those it's pretty straightforward it's pretty easy to make it's beginner friendly I would say you need to know how to make chain and single crochet and double crochet and the granny stitch which is this one this is the granny stitch but i explained it in the video and it's pretty simple to do all you need is four different colors but i will tell you how much you need of each yarn in a few seconds uh, or you can also see it in the description box below as always you can find the ring pattern on my website and if you want to download the pdf pattern and support my work you can download it on my coffee account which everything is linked below and yeah as you can see in the background i also made a matching cardigan for my daughter which is now 10 months old but this one will be the next video i i actually planned to do both tutorials into the same video but the video turned out a little bit longer than expected and so that's why it's gonna be two separate videos but anyway i hope you will like this video please make sure to like and subscribe and i hope you will have fun crocheting with me First of all, we need to make 36 of these squares and I'm gonna show you how to make them. We're gonna start off with the brown yarn and we're gonna chain five first. So we're gonna insert our hook and we're gonna make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we're gonna insert our hook into the first chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and make a slip stitch. Next, we're gonna do three chains, one, two, three, and then we're gonna make 15 double crochet so we're gonna do our first one double crochet and the second one we're gonna repeat this until we have 15 double crochet and since this one counts as the first one we're gonna have 16 double crochet in total as you can see i always crochet around the yarn that is left over so that later I don't need to sew in the remaining yarn but you can do as you want
So now I made 15 double crochet, including the first one, we have 16. And now we're gonna close this round by inserting our needle in the third chain from here. One, two, three. We're gonna insert the hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through and make a slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain one we're gonna cut off our yarn I need to buy new scissors <laughs> and then pull through so now we're gonna change the color usually I'm gonna insert my new yarn around here like one, two, three, four, five stitches before where I chained off my previous yarn. Gonna make a simple knot and also here I'm gonna just keep crocheting around the leftover yarn. And now we're gonna make pop stitches so first of all we're gonna just pull it through chain one two three and then we're gonna make the pop stitch which is yarn over pull through then you're gonna pull to make it wider then you're gonna yarn over again pull through, pull again, yarn over, pull through, and then we're gonna yarn over, pull through all chains on the hook, and then we're gonna do one chain. Let's do this again. Yarn over, pull through, pull, yarn over, pull through, pull, yarn over one last time, pull through and then we're gonna yarn over, pull through all chains on the hook and then we're gonna do one chain. One last time, yarn over, pull through, pull, yarn over, pull through, pull, yarn over, pull through and then we're gonna yarn over, pull through all chains on the stitch, uh, on the hook and then we're gonna do one chain. We're gonna continue this until we reach the end of the row again and then we're gonna have 16 pop stitches including this one so it's gonna be 16 of this in total so we did 16 pop stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 we also did the chain one then we're gonna insert our hook here in our first chain and we're gonna pull through and make a slip stitch. We're gonna chain one and cut off our yarn and pull through. So we're done with round two. Now we're gonna change the color. And again, usually I insert my yarn at the third pop stitch make a simple knot gonna take our yarn and then we're gonna do again three chains one two three and now we're gonna make four 
unfinished double crochet let me show you what that means I'm gonna yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first chains on the hook we're not gonna finish the double crochet but we're gonna yarn over again pull through again and then we have four chains on the hook we're gonna yarn over and pull through only the first two so we're gonna have now three chains on the hook we're gonna yarn over pull through again yarn over pull through the first two again and now we have four chains on the hook now we're gonna yarn over and finish it off by one second <laughs> And finish it off, yarn over, finish off by going through all four chains on the hook. We're gonna do one, two chains, and now we're gonna do the same thing again, just that we're gonna add one more. So we're gonna yarn over, go through, yarn over pull through the first two we have two chains on the hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two we have three chains on the hook yarn over pull through yarn over go through the first two chains four chains on the hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two and now we have five chains on the hook and then we're gonna yarn over and go through all five chains and then we're gonna do one two three one two chains two chains the reason why we didn't do um, four of them here at the first one was because we already have the three chains at the beginning so from now on we're gonna always do four so let me show you one more time yarn over pull through 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 and now we have five chains on the hook this is how i always check how many times i need to do it always when i have five chains on the hook i go through and pull and then I'm gonna make two chains. One, two. And I forgot to mention that you're gonna pull always through the chain space between the two pop stitches. So now we did again 16 of these unfinished uh, double crochets. <laughs> And now we're gonna again close up this round by pulling our hook through the first chain here that you can see. It's not the third one, but it's the first chain that we did here. So we're gonna pull through and we're gonna do again a slip stitch and one chain and cut off the yarn so now we are finished with round three and now we need to make this white part which then allows us to have a square instead of this round one so we're gonna take the last yarn that we have. In my case, it's a white yarn. 
and once again I usually add my yarn here at the third one from where I cut off the last yarn gonna make it simple knot again there's no need to make a double knot only simple is fine so now we're gonna take our yarn and we're gonna make four chains one two three four we're gonna make now a triple crochet so you're gonna yarn over twice insert your hook inside the chainsaw and um, chain space <laughs> pull through yarn over pull through the first two stitches yarn over pull through the second next two stitches yarn over and pull through the last two stitches so you're gonna do it three times let's do one more one two yarn over first two yarn over second yarn over third this counts as the first one so we have one two three triple crochet next we're gonna do three double crochet so we're gonna yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the next two we're gonna do this two more times and now we're gonna do in here we're gonna do three half double crochet yarn over insert into the chain space pull through yarn over and pull through all three this is a half double crochet we're gonna repeat it for two times one and two now once again we're gonna make the three double crochet the same one that we did here one two and three next we're gonna do three triple crochet one two and three and now before we move to the next one we're gonna make three chains one two three this will be the hole that you can see here this one and then we're gonna do three more triple crochet in the same chain space still here okay so it's gonna be one and three so now we finished this part and now we're gonna repeat this part for the next three angles let's say let's call it like that so um, we're gonna do three double crochet two half double crochet three double crochet three triple crochet chain three three triple crochet and we're gonna repeat that for one two three here we're gonna 
I'm gonna show you again as soon as you make the last double crochet here. I'm gonna show you how we finish up here. So now we reached the last step. We did our three double crochet here and now we need to do three triple crochet in this chain space. One, two and Three. We're gonna make three chains one, two, three, and then we're gonna insert our hook into this first chain. We're gonna pull through, make a slip stitch, and then we're gonna make a chain and cut off our yarn. And that's it. That's how you do one. <laughs> Of the 33 squares that you need to make our cardigan, we have two, so we need to do 34 more. Once you're finished making all the granny squares, you are going to connect them. And on this graph here, you can see exactly where you need to connect them. So best is you lay down on the floor <laughs> all the squares in this pattern like four um, four squares height and then you're gonna make i don't know it's one two three four five six seven eight nine lines uh, long and then you're going to connect around all the part that is highlighted in yellow and just make sure that the parts that are in blue you can see the blue part make sure to not connect these parts because these are going to be the armholes and after you connected all these parts you're gonna flip over where you can see the back part and the front part you're gonna flip them over and once you flip them over you can then connect the upper part where you can see in turquoise color and this part is going to be the shoulder so i would suggest you to just go ahead and connect all the parts you can connect them with the hook or with a single needle i will link down below a part of my video where i'm going to show how to connect granny squares and then after you finished making all these connections i will meet you back later
So as you can see now, I connected all the granny squares and the product that you make should look exactly like this. I already started to make the left arm, but I'm going to show you how to make the other one. You can see here the arm holes and also the front and the back side. And yes, as a second step, now I'm going to show you how to make the arm. It is pretty easy to make the arms. We are simply going to attach them to the arm holes and we are using a granny square stitch pattern. A granny stitch pattern, sorry, not granny square stitch pattern. So we are going to take the yarn and attach it to the lower part of the armhole, so where the armpit is. So after inserting the yarn, we're gonna make a simple knot. And then we are going to insert our hook and make three chains. After that, we are going to make two double crochet. So one and two double crochet always into the same chain space and after we made the two double crochet we are going to move to the next chain, chain space and this is where we are going to do three double crochet so this three double crochet into the chain space is called a granny stitch and the first granny stitch that we did it was actually also one, but the first three chains counted as our first double crochet and then we added two more double crochet. So now we did three double crochet into the same chain space and now we're gonna move over to the next chain space and make again three double crochet. This is basically what we're going to repeat all the round and we're going to do that until we reach the end of the first round and then I will meet you back later. So we now have only one more granny stitch left of this round and after making the last double crochet into the same chain space we have to connect this part with the beginning and we're going to simply make a slip knot by inserting the hook into the first double crochet and for the second row we're going to simply chain three and again make two double crochet into the same chain space here again the first three chains count as our first double crochet and then we're gonna simply move to the next chain space and make three double crochet into that same chain space and this we are going to continue until again the end of the row we're gonna end up the row with by making a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row since my arms are pretty long I cannot exactly say how many rows you need to do in order to reach your desired length so I would suggest you to just try on and continue making it and then as you can see at the end of the arm I made some type of design that I liked I think it's it looks pretty but if you don't want to do it then you can just continue doing the granny stitch pattern but I made four uh, granny squares and I connected them and I connect them at the end of the arm 
And here I'm going to show you how I connected these granny squares with the arm and basically I'm just making, I'm, I'm just continuing to make granny stitches uh, around the arm but at the end of each granny stitch which are like three double crochet into one chain space I'm going to pull the insert the hook into one chain space of the granny squares and then continue doing the next three double crochet into the next chain space it's a little bit difficult to <laughs> explain but if you watch the video you can see what i mean and it's actually pretty easy to make <laughs> easier to make than to explain Oh, and once I finished attaching the, these granny squares to the arm, I also closed the last part of the granny squares, which I still had to attach. And then I decided to make just a few more rows of granny stitches to just have a kind of border before I decided to end up the arm. So basically exactly the same thing as we did before. Make three double crochet into each chain space and then at the end of the row connect again with a slip stitch with the first double crochet. And after you did the desired length of the border that you would like to have, um, you're just going to finish off the arm by making one round of single crochet. So just single crochet. Uh, as you can see, I made four rounds of granny stitches and then the border is simply it's simply simple single crochet into each stitch. And also here again, once you reach the end of the row, we are going to close the round by making one 
slip stitch into the first single crochet of the row. And this is the finished cardigan. I also made a round of single crochet around all the borders of the cardigan. And at the corners, I made a couple more. I think I made three single crochet into the chain hole, uh, chain space. And yeah, and the rest is just simple single crochet all around. And this is the completed cardigan. Once more, I'm gonna show you some details, but this is actually it. That's everything for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you liked it, please subscribe and like. And also you can always find the written pattern on my website and you can also download the PDF file on my Kofi account. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.